my name is Sophia Convertini and I'm currently a second year student at the New England College of Optometry in Boston, Massachusetts. Today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about why I chose optometry and why it might be a great thing for you to choose as well. So my story starts back in third grade when I started to have trouble in school. My grades were declining and I started to notice that when I was in class, I couldn't really read what the teacher was writing on the board. At home, my parents started to notice that I would stand about this close to the TV to watch it. So they decided that they would bring me to the optometrist to see if it was something to do with my eyesight. As it turned out, it was, and I needed glasses. Once I put on my glasses for the first time, I feel like my life was turned upside down almost immediately. I was seeing so many things that I didn't realize I wasn't before and that everyone else could. It was really a life-changing experience for me. And although I didn't think about it at the time, I would continue to see the optometrist every year. Um, and I still do, obviously. But so, um, I didn't really consider optometry as a career until I was a junior in college. I had just gotten back from being abroad in New Zealand and starting my senior year I just thought well I'll do whatever after college and I'll figure it out. Thankfully I had an appointment at my optometrist's office right before I was about to head back. She asked me since she had known me for so long, Sophia what are you deciding to do with your biology degree that you're about to get? I said like many other 21 year olds at the time I'm sure I don't know I'll figure it out whatever so she offered to have me shadow a few days she thought that maybe it might be a good choice for me and if not not a big deal at the time I had already shadowed with a dentist and a PA and I wasn't really thrilled by either of those experiences. I couldn't really see myself in the field and I was definitely a little bummed and not really sure what else to look at. So when I went to shadow, I actually fell in love with optometry. I It had already changed my life so much and watching her help patients really made me realize that this was something that I maybe would really want to do. So. After college, um, I took the OAT and I teched at a private practice in my town for a year and I got accepted into NECO, which was my first choice. It was a really awesome experience and especially getting experience working in a practice really helped me to confirm that this was what I wanted to do. Now in the second year, I'm starting clinic about once every two weeks and it's been really cool to see patients and to be able to do some, not the whole, but some of the exam. Um, it definitely made me miss how I felt when I would tech and work with patients every day, which was really awesome. So now I'm getting to do that, but I'm getting to do a lot more with them as well. So honestly, everyone else, I know in my class, in upper years, lower years, everyone has their own story of why they decided to. I have friends who don't have any correction who just decided that they liked eyes and wanted to learn more about it. And I have friends who have had traumatic eye injuries and knew from a young age that this is what they wanted to do. Everyone has their own story, which makes them unique and makes you have a different perspective on what you want your life to be. But optometry really is such an amazing career and you're able to work with patients and really make a difference in their lives. And that's the main reason why I wanted to do this. And I'm very thankful for, for third grade me not being able to see the board in school. I hope this helped a little bit. And if you have any questions, you can let me know.